Hey Pisces, welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and today we're going to be doing your stalkers reading. When I mean stalkers, I don't mean real stalkers. I just mean people who are paying a lot of attention to you for good or bad reasons, all right? So we're going to see who these people are. We're going to try to identify them and their intention towards you. Does that sound good? <laughs> I love to have you here. Thank you so much for being a part of my life and a part of this channel. If you're not yet a part of the Pisces Club, I invite you to subscribe if you feel like it, if it resonates, if it feels right. <laughs> and um, you're going to be receiving daily readings for Pisces and Pisces Weekend Marathons, which are packed with themed readings like money, stalkers, love, your future, you know, a little bit of everything. So let's see, <laughs> let's see, I'm getting inclined to pull four cards here. So there, there's, I'm getting intuitively four people who are really paying attention to you quite a bit, quite a bit. Let's see who these are. Guys, I remind you, we have a few hours left on our sale. Everything is 50% off as far as online courses go on our website. All of those are tools created with a lot of love to help you manifest what you desire, Pisces, in different ways, using different techniques. So if you feel like you want to change your life, improve your money situation, love situation, self-esteem, relationship with family, check it out. You may find something that resonates with you. All right, so I'm sitting at the reading here. Give me a minute and I'll let you know what's going on. someone is like really stuck in you bad like not for real for real though I mean you could be going through it for real for real but if you feel like there's negative energies pretty much being kind of thrown your way my recommendation would be the energy protection course because sometimes in these readings I mean we'll see but sometimes we find people who are like really fucking creepy and weird you know Do you know how to make new sneakers, shoes, not squish? I have a set of shoes, I'm sorry, I just was reminded because of this card because they're exact, they look exactly like that. But I can't seem to be able to wear them because they squish. It's like tree, tree, tree. Every, step I, <laughs> every step I take and it's like really bad. I don't know if you guys know how to like fix that, random question for you guys <laughs> all right so we're ready first person that seems to be paying quite a bit of attention to you is someone who has ghosted you or someone that you have ghosted someone that you have decided not to have any kind of contact with or someone who suddenly disappeared from the connection that you were having okay this could be a friend this could be a co-worker this could be an ex-lover but this person is definitely um, focused on you. I'm getting in a little bit of an anxious way. So they could be sending a little bit of anxious energy your way. If you're feeling very anxious, do you have a reason to feel anxious in your life? Or could that be their energy? Let's see. 
Okay, so this deck is super funny. This deck is uh, the Millennial deck, and it <laughs> brings in sort of like the characters of the Millennial generation or the archetypes or whatever. And this is the Ghoster. <laughs> and the information about this person is the following. So this person tends to be mysterious, apathetic, silent, and usually impolite. And it says, you move on easily and without hesitation, which is admirable. How do your actions haunt those who you've left feeling invisible? Let yourself be heard, even if what you say is disagreeable. Place, you're going to find this person is unavailable. And their totem is, we'll never know. <laughs> because, you know, this person ghosts. Maybe Pisces, you ghosted this person. Maybe you had very good reasons. You probably did. I don't think that Pisces is someone who just you know, takes the risk of hurting someone for no reason. Normally is this as a way to set boundaries, I think. But this person is definitely thinking about why you left or the fact that they left you. They see in this situation a lot of unfairness they feel like they they have been wronged or that they wronged you. They criticize your emotional maturity. So they focus a lot on, like, if you ghosted them, you can probably hear them saying, like, oh, Pisces is supposed to be so, like, emotionally mature, and they say that they're good in relationships, or they say that they're spiritual. But they're just a motherfucker, man. Like, they, <laughs> they may be feeling that way towards you, Pisces. They may be feeling very pissed off that you walked away from them, if that was the case. Now, if that is not the case and they ghosted you, could have been a Libra, could have been a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But this person is hoping that you're going to be able, due to your emotional maturity, to deal with their apparent disappearance. And that maybe it'll teach you not to go so fast. Not to give your heart up so quickly. They have a hope that if there is anything for you to learn here, that would be it. Hmm. That's interesting, isn't it? Alright, so that's the first person. Take it if it resonates. It may totally resonate. It may not. You may not be aware of this person. Or for you, in your case, there may not be that person, you know? Take it if it resonates, if it applies for you. The second person that we see here is the barista, okay? Someone who maybe has their own coffee business, someone who likes coffee, someone who works at some kind of like diner, coffee shop, gourmet, um, coffee thing or whatever. Qualities of this person is that this person is authentic, hipster, pierced, and well-tipped. <laughs> Authenticity and resistance to sell out is, a, is felt by patrons of your latte art. Is fear of losing your tattooed identity to the establishment preventing your chance to caffeinate the world? <laughs> the place you're going to find them, a venue you don't know of. And the totem is an electronic cigarette. <laughs> I love this deck. So cool. So this could be someone in your life that has refused... To, for better or worse, they have refused to take a job that they don't like. They have refused to accept a life that does not allow them to be who they are. Okay? So they really value freedom of expression and self. This person is probably paying a lot of attention to you. Let's see what is it about. Okay, so this person is maybe going through a very large life transformation. The tower. Big changes. Okay, big, big changes. Maybe due to spontaneous decisions that they have made that have proven to be more impactful than they thought it would, they would be. Like, hey, I'm just going to move to the other side of the country. I'm just going to start this business. I'm just going to whatever. And 
they have made those decisions so lightheartedly that now that they find themselves in it, it's like, whoa, like, maybe that was... Maybe I should have thought about it better. This person is going to succeed, okay? They're going to succeed. But there's massive changes going on to align them with that success. This could be an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius. Could be any other sign, but that's the energy showing up here. This person is going to succeed, no doubt about it. But they do have to adjust quite a bit of things and allow quite a bit of change. This person, in a way, is going to be sort of like following you. Maybe you guys have um, public social media. Maybe you guys have an account that shares content about how, I don't know, to make your life more authentic. This person is going to be following certain things that maybe they have learned from you, Pisces, to go through these changes in a way that is serene and healthy and make their lives the best they can be, okay? I don't get any bad vibes here. I get very clean, transparent vibes, but somehow, some way, they're thinking about you. They're thinking about maybe that time in which they saw you transform an obstacle into an opportunity. Or they're thinking about that time in which you went through something very difficult and you found a way through. They're thinking about maybe that post in which you were very vulnerable and they resonated with that. Okay? It's, it's not a bad vibe at all. Now, we're getting here, the third person, Quarter Life Crises. <laughs> I love this deck. It's so funny. Quarter Life Crises. Qualities of this person, unhappy, hopeful, indecisive, fearful. You dream of something better and play out scenarios in your head of what could be. Any step is better than no step. Will you take a leap of faith and let life surprise you or continue to live in a constant state of angst. The place you're going to find this person is a corporate job. And the totem is unfulfilled potential. So it's interesting. This seems to be sort of like the opposite of the previous person. The one that chose the normal life. The inauthentic life. You know, having a corporate job, there's nothing wrong with that, obviously. Having a normal quote-unquote life, there's nothing wrong with that. However, if you feel like that is strongly not what you want, and you choose that path anyway, that's where the um, lack of alignment stems from, right? And I feel like this person has done that. This person has chosen to take the safe route, but they're unhappy about it. However, they have a lot of fear. They have a lot of insecurities. They don't know how to take risks and feel okay with that. They rather feel safe, and that's fine, you know. But this person, this person is really thinking about you. So Pisces, if at any point you did a transition from a corporate job into like a freestyle, fun, different kind of path, they admire that. This could be someone who's thinking, wow, you know, Pisces sort of put their fears aside or their insecurities aside and they chose to love themselves and their happiness first and they fucking did the thing, you know, they, they live an authentic life. I'm getting a vibe that this person could be older, maybe a family member, maybe someone who built a whole life on principles that did not take into account their happiness. I feel like maybe they have regrets. I feel like maybe they want to start over and do something more aligned with who they are. And maybe they're having a little bit of a crisis, but I'm not getting quarter of a life crisis. I'm getting like a midlife crisis. <laughs> I'm getting someone older here. Yeah, I'm getting someone older here. They're thinking a lot about you. They're paying attention to what you do and why you're doing it and how you're doing it. No bad vibes there either, but lots of regrets. 
for themselves and the choices that they have made. Then we've got the soul cyclist. This is a person who tends to be healthy, gluten-free, <laughs> lavish, and usually sweaty. Through the trance of rhythmic pedaling, you make inner progress without actually going anywhere. Are you sweating to cleanse your inner critic or to better define your thigh gap? <laughs> the place you're going to find this person is Whole Foods and the totem is kombucha. All right. So basically what this is asking us is, or life is asking this person is, are you doing this because of your ego or are you doing this because you want healing? Are you doing it out of love? Or are you doing it out of fear? So this could be someone, for example, that is going through a lot of like very spiritual experiences and posting all these all of these like deep things. I'm getting a feminine energy. I mean, there's a girl in the car, but I'm still also getting a <laughs> uh, very feminine energy. Um, someone who maybe is you know, like a healer or does like drum circles or something like that. But they're doing it for the hype. They're doing it for the trend. They're doing it for the money. It's like it's not authentic to them at all. And or this may be another person who maybe you would never expect them to be very spiritual. Maybe they're just like a workout buff or a trainer or something. And you think that all they do is based on their ego. But when you go in and talk to them, you realize that this is their passion, that this makes them feel alive, that there's a whole spiritual component to that. So in, in bottom line, this person is not what they seem, not what they show to the world. Could be a Leo. They hide their vulnerabilities. They really hide who they are from the world. They feel like what they believe is unacceptable for the world. So this could be someone with like, you know, the classic very witchy spiritual beliefs and they feel like they're not accepted by the world. Or this could be the opposite, actually. Someone who's like an atheist, someone who is very cynical, someone who's very kind of dark in that sense, and their beliefs are radical to the people around them who may be, you know, more kombucha loving, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I love kombucha. Um, but you know what I mean, what, what I'm trying to say. And they really hide who they are. This person is thinking a lot about you, Pisces. This person feels like they have you in the palm of their hand. But you're looking elsewhere and they don't know that. They think you're waiting on them. This could be a past lover. They're thinking a lot about you, Pisces. Isn't this deck, the Millennial deck, so fucking awesome? Like, let me show you some other characters here. It's so funny because I think I know a person for every single one of these. The Wanderlust. The Glass Ceiling. The Fuck Boy. The Urban Farmer. Student Loans. The Yoga Instructor. The off the grid, <laughs> the fireballer, the brunch, the bro grammar, trust fund, the social justice warrior, the home brewer, oh, I love this, the side hustler, festival goer, insta famous, Bernie disciple, Etsy queen, and the tinderist. <laughs> I fucking love it. I am obviously not sponsored by this deck or anything like that, but it's just so fucking funny. Uh, I got this one on Etsy if any of you want to find it. I think it's called a Millennial Oracle or Tarot or something. But it's not a Tarot, I don't know. Um, anyway, <laughs> so this is what I have for you guys. I honestly didn't get many bad vibes, quite frankly. I don't feel like anyone here is like hating on you. The only one that felt a little off was the ghoster. It, they seemed a little revengeful, a little kind of like a chip on their shoulder, but not too bad. There's some readings in which we get like straight up haters, like, you know, 
you've seen me getting alarmed by what we see in these readings sometimes. So yeah, I hope that this was fun to you. I hope that it helps in any way or maybe just, you know, represents a fun time for you as it does for me. I love you Pisces. I hope that you know that. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I would love to have you here for future readings. Check out our sale is about to be over. Don't miss out. 50% off tools that have been lovingly created by me and my team to help you be everything that you can be. Because you are fucking awesome Pisces and there's no point in living a half-assed life. There's no point. You can get anything and everything you want. You can manifest your desires. You can design your life as you want it with the help and co-creation of the universe. And these products aim to help you with that. Give you guidance and a path to follow to manifest your desires. So check everything out before the sale is over. And I will see you in the next reading. Bye, my loves.